I I love enough many people. And so I'm going to take you to the store. Okay, it looks like I'm going too fast. Wait. Okay, guys, I just stopped here this morning, and uh, some of you have been asking me about uh, showing y'all when I go out. So I came here to get this one. And you see the American thing, they say if you buy two of Fruity Pebbles, you get one of wheat things free. So where is the Fruity Pebbles? So guys, many of you have been asking me to take you around when I go out and I'm showing you H-E-B. This is their store in Texas and Mexico only. It's not in any other state. So I'll flip the camera to me. Like sometimes just flip it around. And the amazing thing is that here everything they have it in different flavors different colors different like it's like everything different sizes different so many options so like when you come for shopping it's sometimes difficult for you to pick because like if somebody tells you like buy me diapers or uh pumpers like you don't know which type the person has to be very specific all right, it's like you have to pick which one that a person is looking for so that you can get it for them. Like here they have baby products. So these are baby food, baby water, um, pacifiers. And this is not a baby store. This is not a store for kids stuff. It's a store for um, where you buy like groceries, anything. If you want flour to bake, get on this aisle this aisle has a little bit of some appliances and some cookwares so if you're coming for shopping and then you realize that, oh i've broken my blender let me get one from here and then here are quick meal stuff like people who don't like cooking they can just buy like one of these like chilies you buy chilies you just warm it in the microwave or you just put it in the pot warm it and uh, you can add, you know, like chips on the chips aisle. Uh, this, you know, this is another brand for this company. This this actual store makes some of the products. In, no, I'm in USA. <laughs> oh, this place looks like Ghana. <laughs> um, and different, different variety of tomatoes. Like if you want to buy tomatoes, you have tomato sauce, tomatoes, uh, paste, diced tomatoes whole tomatoes roasted tomatoes it's like so many things it's like the variety is amazing this one is really good this one here is really good um i've tried this brand before but this one tastes better this is like the original rotel this one is a little watery like when you're making uh tomato stew you know like back home if you want to make tomato stew you have to just cut all the tomatoes yourself here you don't like if you want you don't have to buy like fresh tomatoes you can just buy the one in the can and guys do you see this thing does anybody recognize this thing look at it if you're from ghana this thing they call it oblayo or mpesa uh, i don't know what kenyans call it it's corn that they've removed the skin from it so some people uh, uh latinos use it to make food but in Ghana, I know we use it to eat like uh, like porridge. See, this thing is already canned. So if you want it, you can just go. But you can buy the actual, uh, the raw one and then go and cook it. Different flavors of beans. If you don't want the ones with pork, you can choose that. And then this has like tomato sauce, rice, 
Um, I buy rice from here sometimes, but most of the time I just buy like a whole big bag of rice. And then here Americans like mashed potatoes. We eat a lot of mashed potatoes. So Thanksgiving coming up, everybody will have mashed potatoes in their house. Um, this you just add uh, butter and milk and then like you just warm it and it will be flaky like fufu but it's not like really starchy and it's really tasty if you do it right if you add like good amount of butter it tastes really good different types of sauce this is hot sauce like some of them are very spicy spicy so here like when um black people are talking about sauce like these are some other stuff that they are talking about uh latinos also like them people from uh, the caribbeans and of course we africans too we eat them like when you have like fried rice you pour some on it um okay let me and then like these types of rice you know americans don't eat a lot of rice but we africans we eat a lot of rice so some of these rice they don't taste good like in Ghana, we, we are very specific about the type of rice that we eat. Some of the rice, they don't taste really good at all. But this type, this is really good. This brand is really good. Like, this is nice looking. But this one, in Ghana, we call it like Tujimi. These, they don't taste good. But, you know, uh, Americans don't eat a lot of rice. So, when they get any type of rice, they just eat it. And this, do y'all, you know, recognize this? In Ghana, when we're making like soup, like light soup, we put these beans in there. They call it butter beans or lima beans. Mm. And I'll take you guys to the uh, produce section and then I'll end the live video, okay? Uh, the store is called HEB. I used to work for this company. Um, this was where I got my first job and bread like they have bread on this aisle they have a uh, barbecue sauce like different types oh my god when you come to america you need to try these these stuff they are really really good like when you make barbecue and you don't put any of these on there oh you're not you will not know the taste and then of course tacos tortillas if you're in texas you will like it if you come to america make sure you eat tacos if you don't eat tacos then you didn't come to america and then we have like different types of bread like sometimes you come here and you are like amazed you just you just look at the stuff and you're like what do i take what should i buy because there's so many of them all right and then they have and then they have like uh of course so these are uh, lemons small lemons you can buy a bag uh, you can buy some oranges um, pineapples pineapples are cheap like this has been like 298 like for years <laughs> I guess people don't buy that many apples we have so many different types golden delicious apple they have granny smith that is granny smith this is golden delicious apple here these are the ones that are common in Ghana this is a uh, gala um this if your teeth is not strong like me with uh braces on i cannot eat these ones this one and that i cannot eat because it's very tough the skin is very tough oh this is uh crispy this is very crispy um they call it honey crisp apples like these ones um of course they put like the organic ones in bags so that you know the differences the organic ones are very expensive as you can see this is pomegranate i've never tried that so like if you want to buy apples right and they said the apple that's the price 254 a pound but you want to know how much you're going to pay you put the apple on here right so you look at the code on the apple the code is 3283 so you put in here you're like three two eight three and they put enter and then you print it and then it gives you this right it gives you how much you're going to pay for it and then you stick it on the apple and then you put it in your basket all right so since i did it, i'm gonna take it but if i didn't want it i'll just throw this away and put the apple back all right so let's say that you came shopping 
and you have a specific budget right and you don't want to get to the register and realize that your ten dollars cannot buy everything so you anything that you pick you want to weigh it all right this scale is not always like for me i'm not good at estimating with that so i just go and use the this other scale that i used before all right i'll put it on there and then type the code on the banana the code is 4011 so you type 4011 and they hit print and then it tells you this is how much it is and this is the weight per that is the weight per unit and so this is how much that banana cost 86 cents so it's less than a dollar so i take it and then i put the sticker uh sorry i put a sticker on there so that is what i have in my basket but that is what you do with like things that are single like individual things that you pick you see all the different types of like this is macintosh apple i've never had this one um and they have like ambrosia apple envy apple envy i've had it i don't think it it doesn't taste too good i like honey honey crisp apple that one tastes really really good and then they have different type of pear like in ghana when we say pear we are talking about avocado these are the real pear this is real pear this is what they call pear this is uh asian pear this is asian pear this is boss pear this is green bartlett um i know the names because like i said i used to work for this company and so that's how i know the names so see some of these stuff you just buy them and you're ready to go and cook them all right if you want to buy carrots you get it from here you can weigh it if you don't weigh it too at the register the person can you know like they have like a sheet for all the code for the items so when you pick an item and you get to the register the cashier knows the code and they'll put in the code there and try it for you so if you want to make like spinach stew in Ghana, we call like kontome. Um, we use these ones because you will not get like the kokoyam leaves one. So we use these ones. Uh, this is cilantro and cilantro is really good. It has like a nice flavor. It's like parsley, but it tastes different. Uh, celery, they have different types. They have like the, the baby ones, but these are organic and these are regular ones. So those are organic too. Corn. If you want corn to eat, they said, let me see the price. Two for a dollar. Now the expensive, sometimes they'll be like three for a dollar or five for a dollar. But I think we are not in corn season, so the expensive. So this is avocado. These are like small avocado. And the price is 78 cents for just one. Um, here, if you want some of the like uh, smoothie shakes, if you don't want to make your own like you see this uh pineapple here is 428 meanwhile when you buy a whole one is 298 a whole pineapple is 298 but since they've cut it for you and put it in the container they will charge you more for that so like sometimes it's for like people who are in office and they want to like rush and go to the office and you don't want to take your whole knife to the office and make people think that you are there to come and cut them so yeah they have different types of potatoes so the store is is very early in the morning so they are now restocking some of their stuff yeah my mom she uses a lot of these like when she makes like uh um like soup and cut them into in into the soup and then you can eat it like that like a whole meal um this pepper this pepper they call them habaneros habanero pepper these are the spicy one that most africans use we use it to cook these are shallots uh, of course garlic olive olive uh, uh sorry not olive uh, sorry aloe vera <laughs> leaves so like those of us who have natural hair like you buy this from the grocery store and then you're gonna cut it and get the gel out but cassava do you all remember this cassava here they call it yucca, yucca roots. They call it yucca. And kokoyam, they call it taro, taro. Um, because they don't use the word kokoyam, they don't use the word cassava. But this is yucca, which is cassava. 
and they have ones that have been peeled and they are in the freezer but that one when you buy you have to let it you know tall before you can use it okay uh let me flip it back to me we are going to the bakery session all right guys so here they have different types of bread this bread they call them bolillos uh they're um spanish bread so like you have uh you use the tongs here you take the uh the plastic bag and then you use the tongs you open and then pick how many that you buy and put it in the in the bag and so when you get to the register they they just give you the price they say one is 25 cents so if you want 10 you just pick 10. um and then when you get to the register you pay for it um sometimes some people in the store like whilst they are shopping they are hungry so let's say you pick uh five of them and you're hungry you can eat one and then when you get to the register you let the cashier know that hey I, i've already eaten one or i gave one to my child to eat and most people do that most people are honest they will let you know that they've taken some of the uh they've eaten some of the items that they bought so yeah um if you want to buy cake all right so now because halloween is coming like they have like uh halloween themed cakes um but if you want a birthday cake, you can either buy the ones that are already made here, or you can tell them that, hey, can you guys write this on the cake for me? And then they will do that for you. All right, so this is cheesecake. These ones are cheesecake. But yeah, the store will make the cake and you can buy it. Like the ones that are already here, you can buy them. Like you can buy this and tell them, or you can buy that and tell them, hey, can you write this person's name on it for me? They will do it for you. Um, and this is like cookie cake. These are like a uh, chocolate chip cake, but it's like a, a flat cake. You know, it's like a cookie, but a cake. All right, so like during Halloween time, they have the Halloween theme. If it's Mardi Gras, they'll have Mardi Gras theme. If it's Thanksgiving, they'll have Thanksgiving theme there. Um, and then of course here too, you buy these. These uh, pastries here are mostly from South America. So, because this area, there are a lot of Latinos in this neighborhood. So sometimes they have stuff that are just, this they call it empanada. Empanada, it's like meat pie, but then it doesn't have meat. They have maybe like pineapple, jam, um, marmalade in there so that, you know, yeah. Here, if you want to buy all the workout stuff, any healthy stuff, you know, like protein bars, uh, the workout, pre-mix, pre-workout, whatever this is where you buy this kombucha it tastes like palm wine but they said it has um uh, what you might call it um it's um fermented some kind of fermented bacteria drink and here if you want to buy your like if you're making those italian foods and stuff these are some of their stuff like parmesan cheese um and then you know like variety of cheeses of course i think this store has laughing cow cheese but most americans don't eat it so that is hard to find i don't even know where they have they have them but i know that this store carries laughing cow cheese and then they have like different types of you know pasta stuff here um and then those the people who don't like to cook if you like these are pre-made meals so like you buy this one it's like 670 this one and then you when you go home you take the rubber off and then they put it in your oven all right look this is a whole uh cornish hen this is a small hen it's not a baby hen there's this type of hen they are very small but they are adults okay they are not like young chicken no they call them cornish hen so see the uh put all the seasoning and everything on it so when you take it home you just put it in your the small oven and then you're ready to bake it so people who don't like to cook these are things that you know you can buy and then just put it in your oven and be ready to you know like have a whole meal so they have like another section for that's a restaurant section but it's not open yet if you want to buy like a, a pie and maybe you don't want to buy the whole one these are half ones uh, when you come to america just try and eat this one pecan pie this is really good these ones pecan pie 
This is a uh, pumpkin and this is apple pie. Apple pie and this is cranberry pie, of course, cherry, peach. You see like they have like variety. If you come here and you wanna buy like flowers for um, somebody's birthday, yes. They have balloons and stuff that you can buy. Um, yeah, so it's like anything that you want. And then this thing, let me show you guys. This thing, they call them tamales. I don't know if this is in um, Kenya, but in Ghana, we call something uh, Adibi. Adibi and Chinewum. If you're from the Buno region, there is something called Adibi and Chinewum. This is how, that is, that is how tamale tastes like. It's like corn, but they put it like with a palm oil, like um, corn with some tomato sauce and then they mix it. So yeah, some of them have beans, some of them have beef, uh, some of them have chicken. They call them tamales. Me personally, I don't like it because I didn't like that thing in Ghana. So I never really liked it. So this is the store and I think I've shown you guys most of it. They have like a, a pharmacy section on that side. They have a business center, a business center over here. So if you're trying to do uh, like money transfer, like if you're trying to do a uh, money transfer, then that would be the place to go. Um, but here is like chips aisle. So what we call chips, uh, like the UK type of chips is different from what Americans call chips. UK chips is different, but these are like the chips, different types, potato chips. They have different, they've cut it like different shape. So they have the party size, which is like bigger bag. Um, they have like, um, thin <laughs> this is like this is thin this is like rigid like variety variety like when you come to america everything there are so many like different types of like look at this type of chips they have this one they have that one they have this one they have that one see just for this they have like one the one at the top one the one at the top like one two three four five six so when you come here you they will drive you crazy because everything that you want to buy they have so many different types and that on that wall they sell like chicken so most of the items they do like by pound so it's chicken and they sell like it's 99 cents per pound but most of the time that pack that you pick it might be 12 pounds so you don't get a chance to buy like a pound chicken. You have to buy more. Here they have like sodas on this side. Somebody's coming, so I don't want to go there. Um, here, frozen foods. If you don't like to cook, then, you know, breadsticks. Um, so this is what some people do, all right? When they have friends and guests coming over, they'll come and buy like some of these stuff, some of this food, and then go and uh, heat it at home and pretend as if they are the ones who made it and you know everybody knows that you didn't make it <laughs> that is what like a lot of people do like they buy you know like lasagna uh, macaroni and cheese uh, Texas gumbo and all that uh, enchilada enchilada too is really really good um, so they buy it take it home like because these are really big boxes so, so they take it home warm it in like you know a skillet and then later say that hey i'm the one who cook it meanwhile they are lying they never cook the food um let me see so there's corn so when corn is out of season you can still buy sweet corn here this corn tastes really sweet see they have okra here when i'm making like okra soup sometimes i buy these ones or i buy these big ones so this one is cut, but it's not cut like the way we do it in Ghana. So when I buy this, I have to cut it more. Um, if you want like veggies, they've cut them up. Rice is already cooked. Imagine, you know, some people don't know how to cook rice, that the rice has to be cooked for them so that they can just take it, put it in the microwave and they're ready to eat. 
um, and that's America for you. When you come here, so long as you have money, everything can be done for you and you don't have to know how to cook. You don't have to know how to do anything. And these are like breakfast stuff. So people buy some of these things and uh, they just go home and eat it. And you know, you don't have to cook. So if somebody says that I don't cook, don't judge the person because there are so many things in America that makes it easy for you to not, you know, like live a life without knowing how to cook. You'll be fine. All right. Let me go to the uh, pizza section. All right. So this section has pizza and ice cream. So different ice cream, popsicles. Um, yes, clung diet. This is really good. This tastes really good. Um, and then pizza will be on this size. Different types of pizzas. They all don't taste the same. They taste different. Every one of them tastes different. Look at all this type of ice cream. And this ice cream brand is from Texas. And it is good. They call them Bluebell ice cream. It is Texas brand. And so Texas, we love them. Here they have like different flavors. So because of Halloween coming, they have pumpkin uh, flavor ice creams. Um, when uh, Christmas is about to come, then they have like Christmas theme ice cream flavors. But look at all of this. Uh, Neapolitan, you will have like three different flavors in one same ice cream. Uh, this, this 1905 ice cream, it, uh, vanilla, is really good. And this one too. Uh, caramel pecan turtle. I love this. This is one of my favorite ice cream. This, that, and then um, butter pecan is good, but not like the caramel pecan turtle. Um, and then if you don't want a whole big container, you can buy like a small one. Um, they're different types, like different. If you're gluten free, if you're vegan, if you're like so many options, cheesecake so 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 many options here and then of course you want chicken chicken dinners like chicken tenders uh hot wings and all that you will find them here you just buy them you put them in the oven and pretend as if you are the one who made it and meanwhile you don't even know how to make it that is the american life and that i they have milk and stuff this is the back door so this is where the company stores their stuff and then they bring them in so this is the alcohol session, um, but these are the things that people use to mix their stuff. Hi, Maxwell. Um, yeah, like this morning I went to the gym and decided to make live video for you. So this is alcohol section. So the company that, that, that own the beer, like uh, Coors, uh, Coors will have their, their distributor person come to the store and restock the shelves. So these shelves, um they are owned by this company but the products on the shelf are owned by the individual company so like bad light will send the employee to bring their products and come and stock the shelf the store employees here they don't stock the shelves of alcohol it's the company that owns the beer so uh bad light will send somebody to come and fill that uh those ekis uh this is of course mexican beer uh they will send their people to come in here corona uh, Modelo, um, of course, yeah, <laughs> I mentioned Corona without even uh, thinking about coronavirus, <laughs> but they have like different types of beers, different flavors, and then of course wine. Um, can you go to the more session? Uh, this store doesn't have a uh, uh, more. This store doesn't have one. This store just has groceries baby items and stuff this location doesn't have oh this wine this cheap wine this is really good it's sweet wine i love this one i buy this one um yeah that one is cheap wine yes these ones too are cheap wines so like you buy them and you could have like maybe three or four or five bottles of wine in that box you know yeah um but yeah, these are different types of alcohol. These margaritas, you know, uh, Bloody Marys, people mixing stuff. This is like cowboy, 
punch. I haven't tried that, but it says it's a cocktail. Um, to buy alcohol in Texas, you have the 21. And I think in all states in the US too. So this section is water. This store is not big, all right? So this company has so many locations, even in Austin. They have so many locations in, every, in a lot of cities. Not every city in Texas. Um, if you have a, an animal, then you buy different types of, you know, food for dog and cats. Um, and then I'll take you guys to the pharmacy section and then that will be the end of the video. All right. If you have a cat, see different types of stuff that you can feed your cat with. Cat food, friskies. Here, this thing, uh, cat litter. These are things that you use, uh, you put in the container like this. So if, if you come to America and you're planning on getting a cat, you need to get one of these, get a container like this and you pour it in. So it's like the dirt so that the cat can poop in it. And then you use this to fetch it and throw it away. All right. So yeah, see, see like these things. So in Africa, what do we do with them? So people buy them for their dogs. See you. In America, they will sell anything and everything to you, boom. So these are for dogs. Yes. And what is this? They say pig ears, pig ears. Oh my goodness. So this is something that you give to a dog. Wow. And then you buy like uh, paper towels, paper towels. So paper towels are like paper napkins that you use to wipe your hand, wipe your table and stuff. And then Sometimes when you're shopping for uh, toilet rolls, if you don't take care, you might take one of the paper towels. Paper towels are longer. So paper towels are like this. Even in this, these ones, these are like several of these in there. And when you have like your dining table, you have one on there, you know, that people used to clean their hands like napkins, but we call them paper towels. And then this will be the toilet roll. These are the toilet roll. So mostly we buy them in bulk. Like for me, uh, when I come, I buy even bigger than this one so that I can use it for maybe several months, sometimes like for a whole year and I'm not out of them, all right? So this is how you buy uh, birthday cards, different cards, it's like hair products. Um, and some of the products are not like, here, some of this stuff are from, you know, like for Latin America. So they bring stuff. When they see that most of their customers are from this side of the world, then they bring, they try to sell products from those areas. All right. Um, and let me see. Um, like when you're traveling, all right. When you're traveling, these are travel size items. All right. So this is for um, cleansing, like uh, to clean your pores, uh, body wash. Like when you're traveling, you know, you cannot have like a bigger size, like more than 3.4 ounces. So here you can buy all the little stuff like um, deodorant, um, like this for men. Like they have different types that you can buy from like sponge um you can buy all of this like when you're traveling you just come here and then you just you buy so many of them like powder baby oil because when you're traveling you don't want to have like a whole your your big tub of you know container that you used to um you use at home so you buy a little one and then here body wash like dove they have different brands. Um, yeah, so it's like men, men stuff, women, body wash, and all that soap. Okay. And then body spray. They have men's, you know, men's section here. It's like women. Um, but yeah, guys, it's, yeah, this is mostly typically when you go to HEB. So see, they have a video camera at the top here. Um, 
and they have they have um, a pharmacy here so if you have like a if you have like a, a prescription right if you have a prescription you just call in you let them send your prescription here and then when you come you just pass your shopping you let your doctor send your prescription here and whilst you're shopping, uh, they will get it ready. So you come here and you let them know that, hey, I'm here for my prescription. And they will tell you maybe like, oh, it will take like 30 minutes or 15 minutes. Then you continue your shopping. So by the time you are done with your shopping, it will be ready. And when, they are re when it's ready, they will announce it on there. They have like a PA system. They will call you on the, on the phone and say that, uh, you know, Mr. Susan, and so your medication is ready. So come and collect it and then you just go and collect it all right so guys uh that is uh well i'm almost done but yes i'm almost done and now i need to go and check out uh, i guess maybe i don't know if you guys want to see how to check out i'm oh sorry so All right, I'm going to show you guys how. How we check out here. So here in Austin, they don't. No, yeah. So here in Austin, you have to buy the plastic bag. All right. So I'll choose pay now. And let me see if I have cash, then I'll use cash. Okay, so I'll use card because I don't have cash on me. So I choose no pen. And so, and that's it, guys. Okay. So, and of course, I am being an African. I don't want to pay for a shopping bag so i'm going to carry my stuff on my chest <laughs> all right so, all right thank you ma'am all right so i'm done with my shopping today and guys thank you for coming with me to heb um i'll be making more uh, videos like this sometimes i want to make them but it's just that I feel like somebody needs to come and uh, video me doing it myself. <laughs> All right, guys, if you're here, and yeah, it's like I'm trying to take off my face mask, then you can like the video. Let me know if you enjoy this one. Um, it's early in the morning here, and uh, it's cloudy also. And this is this is the store. They call it HEV. HEV is only in Texas and Mexico. Only in Texas and Mexico. They don't have it in Northeast. And this store is really good. If you come to Texas and you you want a good place, a good company to work for, I would say that try HEV. Because this company it was really good to me when i came to america and i didn't have like a, I didn't have any professional work experience you know yes i'm in texas uh when i came to america and i didn't have any work experience this company was the place that gave me the chance and this company every year thanksgiving they give everybody free turkey free turkey every employee so it doesn't matter if you 
three people, you have three children, they work at H E B. Uh, during Thanksgiving, all of them will get a free turkey. And they'll give you a 10% discount on when you shop there. When the company makes money, they will give us $100. They will call us and give us $100. All right. Uh, go to dressing places. What do you mean? What does it mean? When you say dressing places, what does that mean? Um, yes, 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 yes. Uh, this this company like my brother this company was good to me like they will call us when the company makes more money they will have a meeting feed us give us like free food to eat they'll call us in the back they will do like hamburgers chips drinks you go and drink uh, all the sodas that you want eat and then when they finish they will tell you about how the company is doing and then they'll give you small envelope you go and open the envelope and you have brand new hundred dollar bill that is how good this company is and now i think they say when you work for them five years they give you shares in the company so if you come to texas if you're coming to stay in texas this is a good company i would say to work for they call it h-e-b it was my starter work and i was really happy here i was really happy they work with me very well all right and when you transfer to like if you say you are in uh austin and you move to houston they can transfer you you can just call another store you can call this same company you will call the other store in that town and tell them oh i'm coming to that town i work for the company i want to transfer there will you have a position for me they'll tell you oh sure 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 and then they will transfer you to that that town so for me when i was going to university i transferred from here and went to where i went to my university all right um you said you sent me uh icing you said you sent me uh whether it's okay yeah you can email it to me all right but guys thank you so much i'm going to end this video because i'm done i went to the gym to do my workout and i decided to come to to the grocery store and then i was like you know what whilst i'm here it's very early why don't i make a video all right but since if you guys enjoy it like it thumbs up so that uh oh yes most Ghanaians are in, in new york oh, a lot of our people like big cities um big you know like popular places all right but guys if you like my video share it or share it so that i can be doing more of this content sometimes i want to show you guys uh the places that i go um and if you are somebody who is like friends with me on facebook you will know that me i go hiking I go camping like I'm not I'm not your typical African girl oh me I go to the bush I <laughs> that is my fun thing to do I go kayaking I do a lot of stuff but you know sometimes I'm like okay I need somebody to film me and that all right I'm talking about it. um I'm not sure about what you're saying uh CB um but guys I want to end this video here uh it's early morning here in texas um what is the time what is the time um probably around 7 a.m around 7 a.m let me see yeah i think about 7 a.m here in texas and it's cloudy people are you know trying to beat the traffic to get to the office but i'm working from home this week so i came to the gym which is not far away from here and now i'm about to go home so that i can go get ready to if it's five oh it's 12 p.m in ghana oh okay then it is uh about seven i think it should be seven around seven yeah yes yeah, born great i know that's you <laughs> but guys thank you so much for joining the live video i'll end it and those of you who didn't see the beginning you can go back and watch the beginning i'll take you around for me i drive around a lot i've been to so many counties texas has 54 counties 54 counties imagine counties as district all right imagine counties as district texas has 54 counties and i've been to so many of those counties so many of the counties because me i drive far i'll be roaming the counties and some i go to some places i'm scared though i'm like hey i'm the only black person around there i need to hurry up and leave here before it's dark time you know but guys thank you for watching my live video this was impromptu i didn't even plan 
to do a live video this morning but i think i'll be doing more of that when i go to the african store i will try and do that but i need to talk to the owner first to make sure that he's okay with it all right but i'll be doing more of this i try not to do it during the day because you know you have you end up filming so many people like this one it was perfect because there weren't many people in the store all right yeah you can drive taxi to huh from texas to new york master it will take me about a week taxis is big my brother you will drive for eight hours and you'll still be in texas you will drive for eight hours and you will still be in texas my brother taxis is big but when you are in the northeast, oh, you drive for two hours, you are in the next state, you three hours, you are in the next state. In Texas, Texas is huge. You will drive eight hours and you are still in Texas. You haven't left the state. All right. <laughs> yes, that's what they say. Everything in Texas is big. Our roads are big. Our state is big. So, yeah. So, if somebody says they are driving from Texas to even Florida, my brother, it's a long journey. And most of the journey will be inside Texas. <laughs> most of the journey will be inside Texas. But the moment you leave Texas, the rest of the state, they are small, small. You know, you just, I mean, California, California, and Alaska, Alaska are big states. All right. California, Alaska, Texas, we are the biggest state. As for the rest, they are just, uh, they, are, they are our babies. Okay. Hi, Evelyn. <laughs> good morning good morning yeah so guys i just stopped by heb and i wanted to show you guys this store how it looks like how the typical texas grocery store looks like okay i didn't say typical american well kind of like typical american but i just wanted to show you how heb looks like heb is uh is it's a good company right I can't say enough about, you know, HEB. But guys, I'm going to end the live video here so that I can get home and then, you know, respond to the emails that you guys have sent to me, work on them. If you are still waiting to apply for the Greek Car Lotto, please go ahead and, you know, uh, uh, work on it. If you are waiting to get more information, then, okay, you still have time from now to November 9th. So there's no need for you to rush if you don't feel like you're ready, okay? If you're not ready, don't go and rush. Just wait until you are comfortable, all right? So guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the Facebook groups, on the WhatsApp groups, and I love you. Subscribe, subscribe if you're a new person on my channel. Subscribe, all right? Uh, you just can come and hang around here and not subscribe, all right? Just click the subscribe. All right. I love you. God be with you. Good luck to you. Those of you who are applying for the Greek car Lodo. And I'll see y'all in my next video that might come out soon. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye from Texas.